Alright you guys, today we're going to be going over on how to set up and install PDQ Deploy. Now I've used this in the past and it's been free, um, completely free, but now they've moved to a pricing, which is not so bad, especially if you use it for a big environment. You're looking at $500 uh, per year, so that's not too horrible. Um, so let's go ahead and download this and let's get it installed. So we actually already downloaded it, so you can download a 14 day free trial. So we're going to minimize this, and we already have the install running. Now, when we go ahead, went ahead and uh, executed this exe, it did ask us to install a .network framework, and then we had to reboot the server. Now, so if you already don't have this uh, certain framework, then you're going to have to install it, and then it's going to reboot. So just keep that in mind. So we're going to go ahead and go through this install process. Agree to the terms of service. Install in there. That's fine. Go ahead and hit install and finish. So if you have an Active Directory environment, this is a great tool to quickly deploy um, any kind of software, whether that be Google Chrome, Adobe Reader, uh, maybe you have a Caseta agent for patch management, uh, antivirus protection, um, you know, you just create an MSI package and you can just deploy it to all the workstations in your environment for a certain OU group or you just can select a whole bunch of different um, computers that you just want to deploy a piece of software to. So let's get started. So let's hit next. We're going to do the uh, free mode. This is where we need to log in with our domain uh, admin. So we're going to go ahead and provide that right now because it needs that to do the actual install as, uh, as well. And it's going to also sync uh, to the Active Directory here when we hit finish. And we'll wait for this to load up. All right, now that we have it loaded up, we're going to create a new package. Then we're going to go ahead and give it a name here. We'll name this Kaseya install. So it's going to install a Kaseya agent to that workstation. Those are all fine. Going to go to steps and click on install. We're going to browse to that Kaseya setup.exe. Then we're going to get save and then close. Now, of course, this is just for uh, the Kaseya install is already like kind of a, an MSI package installer. So it basically just a, does a silent install. So we don't have to really do anything. But if you had something else that had to have like next, next, next install, you could actually do all that within that package setup there that we were just at. So once we've got our package install name Kaseya, now we need to do deploy once. So we hit deploy once, we'll choose our targets, we'll select our Active Directory, computers, browse to, you can browse to, uh, you can, like I said, you can select a whole OU group, but in this instance, we're just doing one workstation. We found it and you can see we have one target selected and deploy now. And you can actually see if it fails. So you can see it's trying to connect to the workstation right now. And yeah, it's pretty cool. So it'll actually tell let you know if it fails or not, which is nice. So we actually had an issue and we were, that we realized that computer was not online. So we did another computer and you can see that I copied the file to the machine and it's doing step one of the process, which is run the executable. And then it should come back here with it saying complete. So we'll just give it a minute here. And you can see now it's at the finishing stages. So we'll just wait for it to say complete. And there you guys have it. It's successfully deployed that executable to that workstation. Hope this was I hope this video was helpful. I definitely have used this many times, especially if it's a workstation that I can't get access to it. Let's say I don't have a team viewer or some kind of remote software on that box but I can get onto another computer or another or the, or the actual server, I can just find that computer online, get the IP address or the name of the um, box, put it into PD, PDQ deploy as long as I have administrator privileges and deploy that executable right from the server and install that remote software and then bam, I have remote access to that machine now. So I hope this was uh, helpful for you guys. I'll see you in the next video, thanks.